Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech. That last mission was Move as Silk, so we can just jump right ahead into the next mission. Although actually I think I should probably check and see if any of my mech warriors need upgrading before I do that. Receiving you. Yeah, there's been a few battles. Uh, Behemoth can got a few points you can spend. Training can pick up a bit more gunnery. Good to go. Glitch can get some more guts. Try and get to that. Yes, overheat threshold pen bonus. That's what I want. And added health never hurt. Uh, Havoc hasn't really been going on missions all that much, but he's coming along. He's working towards gunnery 8, I believe. Um, do you, sir? What am I doing with you? I guess I'm upping your gunnery? Gunnery is always a useful skill. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, round up. Not really been used, so I can't really do anything with him. Uh... I can now get called shot mastery, so I might as well. There we go. Now, if necessary, I can jump into the mech popper and perform almost as well as glitch. Uh, wrestler, anything I can do with you? Not really. I think you're working towards tactics nine. Yeah. Okay. Contracts. Let's see, what else have we got here? We've got two and a half sculler there. That looks to be about it. Oh, we've got a couple of different travel contracts. Both going to Baldry though, and that's the wrong way. So, got a pair of two and a half scholars here. Uh, backyard barbecue, ambush a convoy in the jungle. Uh, okay. Or biological sample, which is recovering something from the desert. Okay. Who's this backyard barbecue against, does it say? Ah, uh, Canopian. Don't think I'm too worried about annoying the Canopians, so... Yeah, let's do this backyard barbecue. Sure, why not? Maintain a very accurate registry of all military convoys on this planet. Recently, an analyst spotted something odd. A convoy that wasn't accounted for anywhere in our records. It's been regularly travelling along one of our standard logistical routes and using our logistical comms, which is how it evaded detection for so long. Our signals inter intercepts tell us that they're Canopian drivers, so we have to assume they're smuggling right out of our own backyard. We don't want to spook them with our own military comm chatter. We need an independent force to intercept and destroy them. Okay. Sure. I can do that. Yeah, Magistry of Canopus. I can afford to take a little bit of rep hit to them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. Don't desperately need money. Okay. I think we are good to go. Yep, off we go. Let's see what this convoy is going to consist of. Okay, here we go. According to the survey maps, you should be able to see the convoy's route from this location. 
Once you have eyes on them, destroy the vehicles. Any other units are at your discretion, but there shouldn't be much opposition. Famous last words. Commander, when you're ready for pickup, I'll meet you at this LZ. Okay. So if I'm expected to see the convoy from this position, I'm guessing they're using this road? Yeah, that's their exit point, so they're likely coming from over here, I think. And going along like that, okay. Alright, well let's get Behemoth over there. Glitch, get running that way. I can plod along up the behind, that doesn't matter. I've got the LRMs and Medusa, get your dragon ass moving up towards that point. There we go. Okay. Convoy gets to move along. Out of my sight, of course, but I know they're doing it. Okay. Push forward as best we can. Get there we go. Get glitch moving up along this road for speed. Got a couple of mechs. We got company. Couple of vehicles. Here we go. There's the vehicles and a few more mechs hiding out over here, including a seventy tonner. On a two and a half scale? Hmm, interesting. That's something to watch. And Dragon, get yourself to there. Coordinates received. Okay, here we go. Into initiative timer now. A 70 ton vehicle gets to go first, interesting, okay. Okay, what, what's that? Gallant urban something, rather. Urban assault vehicle. AC-10, double plus. SRM-2, double plus. LRM-10, double plus. I don't know what these pluses are giving, of course. And a bunch of machine guns. A whole bunch of armor as well. Okay. Got a reserve glitch for now. Standing by. See what the enemy does. Didn't get a good look at that mech. Waiting for Okay, Behemoth. Push forward. Uh, get in that forest, sure. And we could take a pot shot at that assault vehicle, sure. Why not? Sounds like fun. Okay, what have we got in here? That's a Wolverine, okay. Fire at you! Okay, structure exposed, that's a good start. What have we got here? Cicada, okay, not too scared of that. They've got a lock on me. Who did they sense a lock? Oh, Centurion, okay. Uh, let's bring the dragon up. Where to go? I mean, I guess this forest position here isn't terrible. Yeah, that cicada's only got medium lasers and a small laser. Laser, it's nothing too scary. Oh, I very nearly killed that assault vehicle straight out. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. I guess I'll fire on this. It's the primary objective. There we go. He's dead. Move her down. 
Okay, we got another Wolverine, okay. Right, my turn. Uh guess over here. Do some LRMs. Oof, not very good hit odds though on that cicada. If I came up onto the ridge for the direct line of sight and elevation advantage, would that help? Slightly. I mean, he, he's the only one who hasn't got any damage reduction on him at the moment, so I kind of want to hit him if I can. Or, alternatively, I could split my fire up a bit and do some damage to everybody, ignoring the cover bonuses. That is an option. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? So, I'll put the medium... Oh, medium laser into the cicada, LRM 20 into him, and the LRM 5 into him. Okay, here we go. Oh, already exposed the structure on whatever I hit there. Good start. You get no cover, so you're gonna feel the full brunt of that. Ooh, hit him in the head on that one. Very nice. Right, I'm gonna reserve with glitch and see what this heavy does. That's Quite a few LRMs. That could be another catapult. And with reduced armor, that's very tempting. Could get a bead on him if I go here. Uh, better to wait and let the convoy vehicles do what they want to do. Let's not expose ourselves unless we have to. Okay, that's a striker. Nothing too scary there. Minimal. Okay, now I have to take my turn, okay. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and see if I can't take this thing out in one shot, whatever it turns out to be. I'm hoping it's a catapult. It's not. Oh. So? It's an archer. Okay, for a moment there I thought that was a vulture. I was like, that's a clan mech, isn't it? It's very similar silhouette to a vulture very similar. Uh, so yeah, precision strike on him, centre torso, boom. Structure exposed but it didn't kill him, okay. These guys get a turn. That's a demolisher. Thank god both of those missed. Need to try and take that out. As soon as possible. Mech warriors, show them what you've got. Okay, how's this guy doing? Fifty-eight. Yeah, he's Good not to go. looking too healthy. All right, let's uh, go run and hide in this forest for a bit. Race up. There we go. I need to back off. So I am going to do exactly that. Where can I go and get some decent shots off though? That's the question. I want to kill that demolisher if I can. 
Damn, it's tough. I think I'm going to need a mech popper to get through this bad boy. So the other option is to run over here and try and finish off that archer before it can do anything. Would be exposing myself to that Wolverine, but I'm not super concerned about that. I'll take that risk for the opportunity to try and take out this archer. Fire. Okay, at least some of it's going in Santa Tulsa. Yes, he's down. Good. Okay, that's the heavy off the field. Leaving my mech popper free to go after that demolisher next round. Cicada's getting right up in my grill. Ooh, structure exposed already? Damn. Oh, head hit. That would be where I got the structure exposed, I guess. Oh no, it's not. It was in the leg. Okay. Good to go. Okay, Centurion wants to go next. I could come over here and put some hurt on this Wolverine, or I could come over here... Actually, I should be trying to hide behind this ridge so that Demolisher can't get any shots off on me, shouldn't I? That that seems like a sensible plan. God, that cicada's so hard to hit. Copy that. Okay, I'll come over here. Even with only three evasions, it's so hard to hit. Damn. Let's turn off these SRMs. Let's not waste the ammo on them. That's not generating a huge amount of heat, so yeah, just the energy weapons. There we go. Okay, let's put a little damage on him. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's tanking for now. Okay, I think hmm, that Wolverine is a tempting target with only a few evasions on it. But to go. I think I want to be trying to take advantage of the fact that I can hide behind the ridge and avoid that AC-20 on the Demolisher. It's a little close for the LRMs. Unfortunately, and the AC-5 is not brilliant odds to hit at that range either, annoyingly. Actually, no, it wasn't too close for the LRMs. It, it's just that hard to hit this bloody cicada. Why is it so hard to hit? Let me just come over here and look at my hit odds, because these don't make any sense. Target moved, plus four. Okay, that's the evasions. Target size, plus one. Enemy effects, plus four. Is that... Oh, is that the spore cloud? Is that what... Yes, okay. That's why it's so hard to hit. So would I actually be any better off... No, I wouldn't really be any better off targeting that Wolverine. I was thinking, since he didn't go through the spore cloud, it might have been easier, but no. His evasions do still make it a little harder. Okay, well, just fire everything we got at him, I guess. See what hits. Not much. Okay, this lot comes along. Striker's gonna fire some LRMs at me, that's inevitable. And he got some SRMs off as well. Mm. Warning. Low. Yep, I know. That demolisher hopefully won't be able to get a shot off. Oh, damn it, it can! Ooh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God, it hit with both! At that range! God damn it, thank God it was me. I've got immortality. So, he... I'm not gonna die, but damn! Hope I didn't have any of my missiles in that 
centre torso because if I did, I've lost those plus damage LRMs. Commander. Uh, reserve review. Let the mechs go. I don't want to expose this Jenna to enemy, enemy mech fire if I can avoid it. Oof, that's not good. My internals are taking a beating. Well, this is already a pretty expensive mission. Uh, right, well, he's got Spore Cloud and in cover. Yeah, I'm not going to be attacking him this turn. Good to go. Guess I come over this way and continue hurting this cicada. Can get into the cover, that's good. Uh, turn my SRMs back on for this and fire. Okay. He's starting to feel it. Yep, yeah, makes sense that they'd act with the cicada next. And he's running away, okay. I've been sensor locked. That's fine. Standing by. Guess I take some shots on this Wolverine. Fire. Okay, that's done a bit of damage. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's meleeing my centurion. Didn't think he was close enough for that. Okay, ow. Losing lots of armor. Okay. Gonna reserve one more time, let that striker move out of the way. Leave the mech popper alone. Okay. Now I need to run out and kill this... Um, demolisher. Don't know for certain what that other one is. It's definitely not a demolisher. It's not the same weight class. I'll have to take my chances with it. Is it? Inferno carrier. Not hundred percent on what infernos are. It looks like some sort of a missile. So it's probably gonna be able to get a shot off. I was hoping they were just some kind of fancy flamer, in which case they wouldn't be able to get a shot off. But this demolisher's still the threat, so he's out. There we go. Just have to take my chances with this Inferno carrier. Okay, burning gel. Ooh, extra heat, not ideal. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, that could be worse. I'll go hide in this forest over here for the time being. Affirmative. Race up. Hope the enemy can't do too much damage on their turn. Yeah, dragon finies not been targeted until now, so he can take that. I'm worried about these Wolverines, especially this one? No, this one. This one with the large laser and the two medium lasers and the SRMs. That's a nasty loadout. Oh, this guy's 
We're moving fast. Uh... Commander. Where can I go and get some decent evasions and maybe some shots off? Oh god. Uh, I kind of want to stay in this cover if I can. Oh, that cicada's just moving so fast I can't get a decent shot off on him. I also need to be wary of the fact that this convoy vehicle here is moving. It is definitely moving. I'm also running fairly hot, so I kind of want a melee as well, but a melee strike at this stage is pretty risky. I could melee this one for a little bit of evasion, and if I turn that way they won't be able to get me in the back. Yeah, I think that's maybe the best I can do. If I melee him from this side. Affirmative. That'll let me cool down. Targeting for keeps my back covered. Enemy vehicle destroyed. There we go. Mech Popper can start getting rid of some of these Wolverines for me next turn. I just have to last that long. Internal structure damage. Ah, God, this is getting expensive. This mission is getting expensive. Ooh, however, I can come over here and shoot this guy in the back. Pretty tempting. Well, can I get a better back shot? I can. If I go here, I can still shoot him in the back, but with better odds to hit. Yes. I'm liking that. Let's turn that way. Make it move order received. Maybe a little bit harder for them to shoot me in the back? I, I don't know. I'm not really in a good position here either way. Uh, let's turn these LRMs off. They're not going to hit at this range. Fire! Oh, god damn it, the AC missed. That AC would have done some decent damage if it had hit. Okay, they're coming for another melee. Oof. Ow, that went internal as well. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, the dragon doesn't care about burning gel, that's fine. Okay. What do I want to die? I think it's this Wolverine, isn't it? Yeah, he's the most healthy. Where can I go and get a shot off? Four evasion shot from there. Can't I get a five evasion shot from somewhere? Apparently not. Um, ooh, I could get a five evasion shot if I ran and sat in front of this inferno carrier. <laughs> That's kind of risky, but I'll take a four evasion. That should be enough, surely. We need a uh, hundred and eighty-three. Oh, that's not going to be enough, is it? <sighs> But if I go here, I'm on the side, and that's less likely to hit the centre torso. Well, I can't one-shot, so let's reserve and see if they go somewhere a little bit more helpful. Centurion's just going to have to tough it out for a little longer. <sighs> Please be able to survive it. Oh, Dragon's taking some hits. Armour blow through. Internal damage. Yeah, this is not a cheap mission for me. Thankfully, it's the legs that are taking the hits at the moment on the Centurion. Okay, has that helped me any? Might be able to get. Uh, but he's not the primary target now, really. Commander? He's already acted. Kind of want to be hitting somebody else now. 
if I can. I can only get it free evasion if I try to go head on for this guy, and that's not going to cut it. Need 160 damage. Mm -hmm. This is unfortunate positioning, it seems. I just can't quite seem to get the evasions high enough. Try and take out this cicada, I guess. Get him before he can move. Can I get head on to him? I can. Slightly risky in that the wolverine might come after me, but if I can take him out before he can act, that gives my centurion a more of a fighting chance. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's at least take a mech out. Come on. Center torso, come on. There we go, he's out. Okay, that's one more down. My armor's getting ripped off. I'm aware of that. But now you have a chance to go and play with this. Oh, the Inferno carries in cover, of course he is. Uh, I can, however, get around behind this Wolverine. Heading out. So I should be doing that, I think. Give him the beans. On it. Okay, that did something. Critical hit, Commander. Now, can my dragon get around behind him as well? He can. Yes, he can. Ooh, I can get free evasions behind him. Very nice. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we're gonna turn the tables. Throw in the LRMs, why not? Might get a little extra damage off. Oh, damn it, he survived that. I've got a couple of more turns before that becomes an issue. Waiting for orders. Hmm. I'm not going to be popping him, definitely not. But if I go for a small enough move, hit this guy in the back. Oh, he's only got 21 health. That's a waste of my time. Okay, let's just move back, set up for a, a popping next turn. Get rid of all that heat, there we go. This Wolverine does get to act annoyingly. Not too bad. Internal structure damage. Receiving you. I come round behind him. It's only one evasion annoyingly, but I do get the benefits of the water to help cool down, which is very nice. Fire! Let's kill him! There we go, he's out. That's the kill. Yes it is. Okay, what does this guy do? He's coming out of the forest. Oh, back into a different bit of forest, okay. Light damage, Commander. But what he has done is made the eternal mistake of turning his back to the mech popper, so he's dead. Let's see if I can't just annihilate this Inferno carrier. Mm, I'm not sure what odds to hit I'm going to get at this range though. Uh, I could get four evasions if I moved there. Uh, try and get. Uh, that's indirect. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a better shot position. I think that's 
That that's the best I can do. Okay, let's acknowledge. Let's go there, see what we can do. Oh, actually, my heat's getting a bit high. Uh, turn those LRM tens off then, because they ain't gonna hit at that range. Yeah, it hasn't got a huge amount of armor. We should hopefully be able to take it. Confirm. Yes. Okay, now all I have to do is take care of this guy, which will not Commander? take long. Because, as I say, he made a big mistake turning his back to me. Fortunately, I can't get a 5 evasion shot off, but on his rear armor, I shouldn't need it. Oh, God. Okay, so that was expensive. I've taken a lot of damage. That... Demolisher getting that shot off on my Shadow Hawk was not ideal. Fire. Got it. There we go. That's a kill. But it's job done. Okay. Mission successful. Let's see what the butcher's bill is. How much is it gonna cost me to repair and replace all the damage I've taken on this mission? I got 443 grand. So as long as it comes in under that, I should be fine. Fine. Oh, thank God, it was just ammo and jump jets in the center torso. I didn't lose one of my guns. Thank God for that. That would have been devastating. Uh, I am, however, going to be out for many, many days. <laughs> uh, let's take the archer part. Let's take this AC-10. Why not? It's worth quite a bit. No, I don't really use SRM2s, do I? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the best salvage I can get out of this. That AC-10, I may find a use for it. It's a bit on the heavy side. I prefer the 5, but it's got some pretty decent damage if you can find a mech that likes to have it. Oh, I got a Wolverine part as well, very nice. LRM-15, medium lasers. Oh, I got the SRM-2++ anyway. Fair enough. Uh, SRM-6, ammo, and heat. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see how expensive this is going to be. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that myself. Mech repairs are most definitely needed. Okay, the biggest job is replacing this center torso on the Shadowhawk. Needs two LRM ammos. And a heat sink. Oh, no, no, not a heat sink, a jump jet. There we go. That's going to take five days and cost me a hundred grand. Oh, I also need to repair that leg as well. Okay. Six days. <laughs> 119 grand. Uh, let's round it up to 120 grand. Okay. I do have a spare at least, so if it comes to it, I should be alright. Uh, repair this. That's going to take three days and 27 grand. Not too bad, actually. I was expecting worse than that. And this is only going to take a day of 300 sea belts. Okay. Well, I do have enough mechs to be able to do another mission. I've got my spares now. My blackjack. There it is. My shadowhawk and my hunchback take the places of the dragon, the centurion, and the um, other shadow hawk. This damage output's going to be a little less, unfortunately. And I do have a spare mech warrior, so I might do another mission before I go. We'll see. Anyway, this mission, this mission, this episode has run on plenty long enough, so I shall end it here. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.